Deserts are often considered among the mysterious and frightening class of landscapes. With endless stretches of sand and the scorching heat, the deserts of the world bear many thrilling secrets we have yet to discover. Although the harsh conditions are less hospitable for human life, people still choose to wander around the deserts and even live there. You can never be sure of what you might come across in this habitat of snakes, scorpions and succulents, but let us assure you there are quite a few extremely bizarre things that have been found in deserts around the globe. Today we'll tell you all about the 20 strangest things people have found in the Sahara and other deserts. But before we begin, take a moment to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for learning more about the mysterious things that happen worldwide. Found in the Arizona Desert, Giant Arrow This is a remnant of the times when GPS technology and digital maps were not a thing. How did pilots navigate across America? Well, it turns out these huge concrete arrows were used for this purpose. Around 17 of these arrows have been discovered around the American deserts. These were built between 1926 to 1931 by the Air Traffic Control Association. To help make them visible during night and in fog, they were illuminated by beacons placed 25 miles apart. These arrows were painted in bright yellow. Yes, they're not GPS, but they did support the US airmail system and even commercial flight. Nowadays, these arrows are mostly gone or are in a shambles as their paint has faded. Found in the Mojave Desert, Phone Booth This iconic phone booth is located in the middle of the Mojave Desert. It was placed here because of the government mandate that was put in place to ensure service to every small town. It was built in 1948 and provided the local cinder miners with phone service. Turns out that a curious man named Godfrey Daniels started calling the booth and to his surprise one day he was picked up and he realized it was working. He then went to this booth and made a call from there. Soon after, he set up a website about it and people started visiting to see it and make a phone call from this unique booth. Its booth was, however, removed a year after the mine was shut down. Eastern Egypt, the Desert Breath Another breathtaking art installation was found near the Red Sea in El Kuna, Egypt. Some people even thought it was some kind of an alien formation initially, but in reality it's a massive art installation created by DAST in the year 1997. Spanning an area of 1 million square feet, it took around two years to build this. 280,000 square feet of sand were displaced in order to make this happen. There's a huge water pool in the center of the desert breath. It was meant to represent infinity against the backdrop of the greatest African desert. This mesmerizing site still exists, and tourists can either explore it from above or by walking on the spiral path of the cones. Video Game Stash Urban legend states that Atari dumped a huge collection of unwanted video games in the desert. One of those games was E.T. the video game. In 1983, with the plummeting sales and loss of consumer interest, Atari was left with a massive amount of unwanted video games. Therefore, they decided to bury truckloads of this stock in the ground of Alamogordo, New Mexico. This was covered by New York Times, but was never confirmed by the company. A lot of employees also called it a rumor. This is what gave birth to the legend. Since Atari was extremely popular among gamers, they wanted to find out the truth. In order to do that, the dump site was dug up for a documentary. Fans attended to witness this and were overjoyed to see the video game packages and cartridges coming out of the earth, and among these they also found E.T. the extraterrestrial game, also considered one of the worst video games of human history. The Half-Buried Hand The Atacama Desert in Chile is massive. It spans an area of around 105,000 square kilometers. It's one of the driest parts of the earth with periods of up to four years with no rainfall. But this couldn't stop an ingenious artist from leaving his mark here. This giant hand reaching towards the sky is installed in the Atacama Desert and is a wild contrast to the spirit of the desert itself. Created by Chilean sculptor Mario Irazabal, it's called the Mano del Desierto. It's about 36 feet tall and was first unveiled in 1992. It's made completely out of iron and cement and is located just outside a town called Antofagosta. This isn't the only hand made by Mario. He has in fact installed many other giant hands in places including Madrid, Venice and even on a beach in Uruguay. Secret Pool Found in Desert 
If you ever got stuck in the Mojave Desert, the last thing you'd want is a pool, but it wouldn't be a bad idea in temperatures reaching 100 degrees Fahrenheit. This is the brainchild of Austrian visual artist Alfredo Basuglia, who built this social pool out in the middle of the Mojave. Though it's not a public pool and you can't just show up demanding a dip. It's actually hidden well and kept locked. The keys are kept in the MAK Center for Art and Architecture, and from there you can also get the GPS coordinates of the pool. There are only four copies of the keys available, and you can acquire one set for 24 hours only. Even that won't be worth it, as it's quite small, measuring only 11 by 5 feet. Egyptian Sands – Libyan Glass The purest kind of glass is found in the Sahara Desert. This massive desert bordering western Egypt and eastern Libya has a remote location where bizarre natural glass is produced. Scientists and geologists have been confused by it since it was discovered in 1932. It's believed that it's at least 26 million years old, but how it came to be is still a mystery humanity hasn't been able to solve. The glass varies in color, some being similar to the man-made bottle colors ranging between transparent light yellow to green and green-brown. It contains 98% silica, which is a tremendously high level for a natural formation. According to a popular theory, this glass was formed by a chemical reaction caused by a meteorite colliding with near 100% composition of sand, as analysis of this glass shows it's fortified by meteorite elements. Ghost Town of Namib Desert Coleman's Cup, located in Namibia, is one eerie and mysterious ghost town you definitely want to check out. It looks as if it's being swallowed by sand. It was part of the diamond boom of the early 1900s and was developed to continue the mining. But with the depletion of the diamond reserves, the town was also rapidly abandoned by residents in the mid-1950s. There's tons of sand creeping in every building and drowning the structures. The town is situated in the southern part of Namibia along the Atlantic coastline. The town is continuously struck by battering gales. The vegetation is sparse, and the previously grandiose buildings are now just sand-struck skeletons of what they used to be. Just some upside-down Cadillacs On the infamous Route 66 located near Amarillo, Texas, there's an intriguing installation that'll definitely catch your eye. This weird set of 10 Cadillacs buried half in the ground is called the Cadillac Ranch. It was built by a group of art hippies hailing from San Francisco and were called the Ant Farm. It was a tribute to the evolution of this classic car and was created in 1974. The project was financed by the Amarillo billionaire Stanley Marsh III. He wanted to keep it open to the public. All 10 Cadillacs are buried nose down facing west and are angled the same as the Great Pyramid of Giza in Egypt. Fairy Circles in the Namib Desert This mysterious formation has kept scientists confused for years on end. Fairy circles are actually weird, bare spots present in the desert and are surrounded by vegetation. But surprisingly, nothing grows within these circles. The lack of a proper scientific explanation for these circles has paved way for many far-fetched theories like alien landings or footprints of ancient gods. Local legend says that these burned patches were formed by a dragon who breathed fire down on the land. Some scientists, however, think these circles were created by sand termites, which devour the vegetation surrounding their nests, while others think that plants competing for water are responsible for this formation. Mysterious Patterns in the Gobi Desert this weird and complicated grid of white lines was caught by a satellite in April 2009, and it left quite a few people wondering what this mysterious pattern meant. It's definitely not natural. Are these the remains of walls from an ancient city, or some kind of message for the aliens above? It seems like a design used to calibrate the spy satellite owned by China. There are buildings in the vicinity and even jets can be seen. Who knows what China is cooking up in the heart of the Gobi Desert? We sure would like to know. The 60-foot buried boat Sand is often an underestimated force of nature. It has the power to consume massive objects and even towns, but it also bears the unique property of preservation. For instance, a massive 60-foot wooden boat was found perfectly preserved buried in the Sahara Desert. It was discovered in the ancient Egyptian necropolis Abusir. The cedar planks and the rib seams are clearly identifiable. According to the Czech archaeologists who discovered the boat, it's almost 4,500 years old. 
It seemed to be a funerary boat, but it was quite an expensive boat and no one knows why it was found in the grave of a common citizen. As boats this huge were reserved for the royals and may belong to the 3rd or 4th dynasty. Fossils found in Atacama Desert This exceptional breakthrough in the world of marine science occurred in 2010 when the largest marine mammal fossil in the entire world was found in the Atacama Desert. Now, this was discovered quite close to the Pan American Highway but was at least more than half a mile away from the ocean. 75 whale fossils were found scattered over an area of 240 meters, of which 25 were perfectly intact. These skeletons included baleen whales, sperm whales, and a walrus-like whale. There were also some skeletons of seals and aquatic sloths. Weirdly, all the fossils were facing in the same direction, and are believed by some to be 6 to 9 million years old. Scientists and paleontologists believe these animals died from toxins produced by algae. The Tunisian Lake Sometimes lakes appearing suddenly in a desert are not just a mirage. For instance, this lake appeared overnight in the Tunisian desert in 2014. It was discovered by shepherds during a drought. It spans an area of about 2.6 acres and is between 19 to 17 meters deep. Crowds of people gathered to bathe in the water, but no one knows where it originated from. The most plausible of the theories suggest that a small earthquake ruptured the water table and forced millions of gallons of water to the surface. It's been named Loch de Gafsa. The water was initially turquoise, but due to the lack of replenishment, it soon turned green because of the algal growth. Yabba Dabba Do You must remember the Flintstones from Cartoon Network. Turns out their residence has been made into an actual attraction in the bedrock city of Arizona Desert. An entire theme park has been dedicated to the 70s cartoon. It was opened in 1972 and attracted lots of visitors who wanted to experience their favorite cartoons and their lives for real. There were rides, hair salons, theater cars, and more to enjoy. Though the city declined fast as the cartoon became older and people lost interest, sadly it shut down in 2019. The Mansion of Death Valley Though it's more of a massive Spanish colonial revival villa than a castle, it's located in the desert of Death Valley National Park. Its construction began in 1992 and cost around $2.5 million. This was supposed to be the dream mansion of Walter Scott, who had convinced the Chicago millionaire Albert Mossy Johnson to invest in his gold mine in that very area. But it turned out that the mine was a fraud, and despite being enraged, Johnson struck up a friendship with Walter, and when he moved to his mansion, his health surprisingly improved. Soon after, Scott moved in and claimed he built it from the profits of his gold mine and named it Scotty's Castle. It's no secret now that Walter was a well-versed con man. The Works of Old Men Pilots started noticing massive geometrical shapes from above in the 1920s. They found thousands of stone structures arranged in geometric patterns. According to archaeologists, these were created between 4000 to 2000 BC. English RAF pilot Flight Lieutenant Percy Maitland published his findings in 1927 after he flew over the area. According to him, the local Bedouins called these structures Works of Old Men. Satellite imagery has made analyzing these patterns much easier. Turns out they were used as hunting traps in ancient times and consisted mainly of two low stone walls arranged to form a V-shape. The hunter chased the animals towards the V and trapped them. The Abandoned Domes of Casa Grande Another epic find from the desert of Arizona are these strange domes located just outside Casa Grande. These UFO-style structures have been linked to aliens and magic, but in reality, these were built by Intercom Technology in 1983 as offices and manufacturing plants. Since the company defaulted on a bank loan, the construction was never finished and they remain abandoned even today. Made of concrete and foam, these domes morph sounds into creepy noises that scare the visitors. Many urban legends are associated with these domes, including people hearing voices and tapping noises and even the sighting of a mysterious scary man. Before moving to number one on this list, here is an interesting topic. The Sahara Desert is believed to have been an ocean around 50 to 100 million years ago. It was home to a huge amount of diverse creatures and the fossils of said life are still found scattered across the sand even today. This recent discovery has got scientists scratching their heads in confusion. These creepy skeletons were discovered by an archaeologist in the Sahara. 
You can see a human being with a fishtail, and in the other picture it seems like a huge seahorse is lying next to a person. Does this mean that an ancient civilization used to exist underwater at some point in history? No one can be sure about that, but what do you think? Where half the residents live underground Australia is home to some of the most magnificent deserts, but a particular desert town located in the south about a thousand miles from Canberra is popular for a very different reason. Kupapidi, the name means white man in a hole, Lying in a desert larger than France and Germany put together, it's an opal mining town. It's the only city in the world where people live underground permanently. The temperature outside climbs as high as 120 degrees Fahrenheit, so living underground is kind of a necessary adaptation. They have everything available underground including shops, pools, motels, churches and even camping grounds for tourists. This bizarre town has breathtaking views of the desert and hence it attracts a lot of tourists every year. It was founded in the year 1915 and is the largest supplier of gem-quality opal in the world even today, but because of the underground living, the town probably earns as much from tourism industry as it does from mining. The only con here is the lack of natural light. No doubt the deserts have much more to offer than we estimated. Do tell us in the comment section which one of these discoveries blew your mind the most and make sure you subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. We'll be back soon with another video. See you later.